Hello family, it's Ariana, your Tarot Life Coach, bringing you your May 2022 Tarot Reads. I don't know why I'm tongue-tied today. However, with that being said, welcome back. Welcome back, friends and family. Y'all know how I feel about y'all. So if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. How are you doing? And if you're new to my channel, bienvenidos. I'm so glad you joined. I'm so glad you clicked on this video. Let me know what you think. Click that like, that share, and maybe even subscribe. I'm just saying. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, where the hell you been? I have so much fun over there. We do all kinds of things. I post more of my stories there, quick readings. We do like specials over there. Go on over there. Follow me at Ariana Luciano, all right? I'll put the information in my about me. So with that being said, you all know I'm not an astrologer, okay? But I do like to dips and dabble and I like to have some fun. I like to understand that I'm not going crazy. So we start off with the energy from that new, that new moon um, solar eclipse, partial solar eclipse. It knocks off eclipse season, guys. You better use that momentum because when that 15th kicks in with the full moon, whoo, we get a little, hey, hey. Saturn jumps in, gets a little a little T square to us. We're like, ka ka, we're not really feeling it, all right? <laughs> so enjoy the momentum that you're feeling right now, especially fixed signs, fixed signs. You guys are like changing everything. You are like ready to throw everything out, wipe the slate clean, and start over. So let's talk about what we have going on, and then we're gonna break it down into the elements, and then we'll break it down into the signs as far as tarot, oracle, and any other messages we got for you today big baby all right now we have on the second venus entering into aries this is also a great day for astrological magic like this is a great time to set intentions to start new projects because of the planetary alignments okay so may 2nd okay venus going into aries venus and aries is like i want to look better be better do better let me make myself better let me make everything better it's me 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 venus is really working on that section okay now on the 5th, the sun will be conjunct Uranus 14 degrees. Let's look at the number 14. Individuality with the 1, 4 with the foundation comes to a change. There's a lot of change coming in on Cinco de Mayo. And it's my anniversary of freedom. <laughs> it's been 10 years. I'm just saying. Um, it's probably TMI. Anyway, Cinco de Mayo is a big day for me. Like, it's, it's going to be on and pop in. So if you see me out in the streets of Houston, Texas, stop and say hi to me. All right? Now. The sun conjunct Uranus, thinking about the sun as this benefic energy that lights up the world. And Uranus is having all these great ideas on how we want to change, like different ideas, different ways of doing things, right? And they're right next to each other in a conversation. So there might be new ideas. You need to journal them. You need to write them down. Take note. Take a picture. I don't care. Do what you got to do, okay? On the 6th and 7th, you're going to take those damn dirty ideas because those are great days to do astrological magic. Great days to set manifestation. Great days to do what you got to do to make it happen now the 10th bum 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 we have mercury station retrograde five degrees gemini again with the number five five signifies changes big changes okay mercury is the planet of the of communication with the gods so be prepared for all the mercury retrograde stuff now please do not be so afraid of mercury retrograde just slow down Take note, watch your words, you know, and Gemini uh, rules Mercury, so he's at home. He's just kicking it. He's having a good time. So pay attention to where that falls in your chart. On that day, also, Jupiter moves his little happy self into Aries, too. He's like, let me bless you, baby. Let me bless this first house. Aries is the first house, the me, the I, the bada bing, you know? So on the 12th, we have more beautiful energy. The sun is going to be conjunct the north node at 22 degrees Taurus. So the sun is going and having a conversation with the north node. The north node is our future. It's our path. And it's saying like, look, bro, something's got to change. We're at 22 degrees. This is a master builder number. It's time to build your foundation. Are you being responsible? Are you making the changes that you need to make? And Taurus is like, can we just decorate it? Can we make it look good? Like, I mean, can we do it my way? Okay. Now, on the 15th, we have some beautiful energy. <laughs> we have that full moon, total lunar eclipse at 25 degrees as Scorpio. Okay. This is known as the blood moon, baby. And this total lunar eclipse is going to be a little bit... A little bit rough because Saturn's like in a T-square to it talking about, hey guys, 
Did you do what you were supposed to do? Like we're midway through the year almost. Did you handle your stuff? What are you doing? And think about Scorpio energy. Scorpio is a very intimate energy. This is about intimacy, other people's money, changes. It rules the death card, right? At 25 degrees, 25 too is partnerships, relationships, contracts are changing with the five because of the benefics. It comes to a seven. And that's the way, I, that's the way I'm kind of looking at it. So be prepared to be shaken up, all right? Go back to your notes from earlier that month and catch a vibe from over there. Now, the 17th and the 18th are not very good days to set intentions and do astrological magic or anything like that, just because the energies are a little rough and tough. Now, the 17th, we also have Mars, the planet of action, right next to conjunct Neptune, 25 degrees Pisces. So it's like the divine is really trying to come in and tell Mars, you the one who wants to go take action, like, hey, 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 hey. Let's think about it. You know, Mercury's in retrograde. I don't know what's going on. We got a blood moon. <sighs> Take a breath, right? The 20th, happy birthday, Gemini. And this is a great day for magic. Set your intentions. And if that's your birthday and you're blowing out candles, make that motherfucking wish, baby. Now, on the 21st, sun, all right? Illuminator, conjunct right next to Mercury, the planet of communication who has regressed to one degree Gemini. So right here at that one degree, we're initiating something. We're thinking about something. The sun is in communication with Mercury. What is being illuminated that we need to do, that we need to change, that we need to develop, right? Then we go on the 22nd. Mercury says, I'm going to Taurus. Hey, Taurus. Hey, Lord, no, what's going on? So it's having a good time, right? It's getting grounded because we need to slow ourselves down. Remember, you might be getting communication from exes, jobs that you applied for, things that you have like set these motions into, and now all of a sudden people want to talk, okay? They didn't want to talk before, but now they want to talk. So just be ready, okay? Just be ready. Now, the 24th, Mars moves into Aries. Aries and Mars are like besties, okay? And they're like, hey, let's do it, okay? Let's do it. So be aware of the way that you're coming across. Be aware of how you're going into action. The 26th, not a great day for magic. So like, you know, sit down with that for a little bit. It doesn't mean that you can't continue with something that you've been working on, but not a great day to initiate, okay? On the 27th, Venus is in Aries, hey, okay? Square Pluto in Capricorn. So Pluto in Capricorn, Pluto this planet of transformation, okay? What is it say, chiquito pero poderoso, like small, but it's like dynamite, okay? In Capricorn, Capricorn gonna get it done. And Capricorn's like, look, a square is a lesson. It's telling Venus, Pluto is telling Venus like, hey, I know you wanna go do that. I know you wanna go make this expensive purchase, but did you do the math? Did you figure it out? Like, this is a, like a little lesson for some of us, okay? On the 28th, Venus goes into its favorite place, Taurus, you know, because it's the ruler of Taurus and Libra. So it's at home. You may want to redecorate your home, redecorate your life, redecorate your relationships. You're ready to make it saucy, sweet, and sexy, okay? Now, the 29th, Mars is going to be conjunct Jupiter, three degrees Aries. All right, three for me signifies exciting new. Aries is spontaneous. Mars um, right there, right next to Jupiter saying, let's do it. And Jupiter said, I'm going to make it big. I'm going to make it happen. <sighs> Explosion. All right, good times, good times. On the 30th, we go right into that new moon, nine degrees, Gemini. Gemini is getting all kinds of lit up with this um, Mercury retrograde, okay? Doesn't mean you're gonna have a bad time, actually, you know? You're just really just, there's a lot of action going on for you. And this new moon is telling you at nine degrees, what needs to go, what, what needs to go so that you can move forward, right? And that's what this is about. It's not about, oh my gosh, I can't do anything. It's about, whoa, reassess, reassess. What do I need to do? And the 31st is a wonderful day to do magic. So with that being said, we're going to jump into these readings. We're going to start off with air. All right, air signs, earth. I hope I don't make a loud noise. Fire and water, okay? And if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's at Ariana Luciano. I do readings with my friend Typical Witch. I do readings with um, other readers on online, um, Keona Choroto, Choreto. Um, and so it's fun. And I offer specials over there. So I don't know why you're not over there hanging out with me and letting me DM you, not for a reading, but with memes. Y'all know I like to make people laugh. So if you're in the Houston area, 
come see me, right? Like, holler at me. I'm going to be on the street celebrating my, my anniversary. <laughs> I'm Cinco de Mayo. All right, guys, I love you. Stay tuned, and thank you so much for your love and support. Be blessed. Hello, Earth Signs, Capricorn, Ew, Ew, Taurus, Virgo, Virgo. Hi to my Taurus friend, Wesley. Hi to my my Virgo friends, Mira Mira and uh, Erica. Sometimes I don't want to use those real names, but hey, how you guys doing? Hi, Rose Pola, my Capricorn friend, my Capricorn sister. Hey, Erica. So with that being said, let's talk about the energies that are coming in for us. You start off with the Temple of Carnelian, okay? This is going to the fierce belly of Sekhmet. I love working with Sekhmet's energy. I actually have her in my bedroom with some catnip out to make it spicy. Anyways, I like it. I'm, I'm a fierce lion, my damn self. But this is about you. This is There's a question you have this month, okay? There's a question you have this month about should I do this? Should I, do, should I be this? Should I do that? And the answer is yes. This is saying you're going to have the courage. You're going to go through something. You might even witness an injustice, something that didn't make any sense to you. And you're about to see that wrong turned right. You're about to find out that you are stronger than what you ever thought you were. You are facing things head on this month. There's no beating around the bush like they say. Okay? The medicine mask comes out for you. This is about really removing the mask. Your ancestors say, look, be real. Be who you are. Be authentic. Don't worry about what anybody has to say, Earth sign. Sun, moon, and rising. Hi. Um, you're going to stand in your power. You're going to remove this mask, and you're going to show the world the real you. The song that's coming out is, I'm coming out. Am. I want the world to know. You want everyone to know who you are, what you're about, and who you are. It is beautiful energy. It is like you're proud of yourself. Pay attention to your lower three chakras during this month, your root, your sacral, and your solar. Okay, you want to stay grounded so your finances are well. Be creative with your with your sacral, lots of sexual healing. And your solar plexus to have the confidence to be who you really are, okay? You want those things to work in tangent. Now, Mars is the planet that wants to work with you. It's like get or done vibe, okay? Like, can we get or done? Can we do this? Um, this is the drive to do something, confronting things, bringing action. You're going to have lots of energy, and you're going to make yourself do the impossible. Like, not the impossible burger, but the impossible things that you've been afraid to do for the last 20, 30 years, okay? Because look at you, queen of forces. These eclipses are igniting your balance with your emotions. You are able to hold both things in both hands. Like you can be your, your sun, you can be your moon. That means you can handle the action and the emotion now. There's no, oh, I'm falling apart. It's like, look, this is what you got, this is what you're going to get, okay? We're not playing anymore. Earth signs have said, enough of this. I'm in balance. I know who I am, and I'm not afraid. And the emu said, go on the trip. Go on the adventure. Do what makes you happy. Enjoy yourself. This is a good time to start new things. Like, what is it that you felt ignited in at the end of April during that eclipse, right? Because during that Libra eclipse, not Libra, that Taurus eclipse, you might have felt like a little nudge to do something. Do it. Speak up. Let them know who you are. Your crystal is tourmaline, okay? Tourmaline is a love energy. It's, uh, it expresses itself. It helps you overcome grief and sorrow and traumatic memories. And it balances the yin and the yang, baby. Now, it encourages and stimulates the energy flow. And it's great for psychosomatic manifestations. And this indicates it's time to move forward with all things. Okay, wait, everything. Just do it. I'm just doing it, okay? Connect with nature and uh, everything in balance. Everything with, with patience and balance as you move forward, okay? Very, very cool, beautiful energy. I just want to see what the Queen of Forces wants you to know. Make a decision this month. The Seven of Cups. Like, it's your choice what happens. It's your choice. It's your decision. The Eight of Cups. Pick something. What is it that you want, Earth sign? Because it's yours with the three of wands. That's what the queen wants you to know. She wants you to know it's all yours. It could all be so simple, but you rather make it hard. Okay? So you want to book that trip? Book that trip. You want to tell somebody how the cow ate the cabbage? Tell them how the cow ate the cabbage and blame it on Mercury Retrograde. <laughs> I didn't know what I was thinking. I think Mercury was in reggaeton. I don't know. I got <laughs> Let them know who you are this month, okay? Be bright. Let's see. I want you to think about a yes or a no question, and I'm going to intuitively tell you what I get. Using the Starman Tarot, gets it to me by my friend Blanca. Okay. 
All right. Initiating something new. We're talking about initiating something new, okay? We want to do it. It's springtime. Kaka, kaka, kaka. We're ready, right? Okay. Card question number one. Whatever you have for question number one, it's gonna be a no. Okay? I want you to look at this image. Uh, it doesn't look too happy. Okay? It's gonna be a no for me. This is like it's too much of a burden for you. You got someone in the background trying to make sure that you're doing your job. Like, get the fuck out of here, okay? You got two people in the background. You wanna see them? No, no, like. Why you peeping me? Everybody knows that I'm a G. Virgo, what's up? No, I'm just like, it's all Earth signs. No, this is like the energy of like, it's too much burden for you to carry. Don't start it. Card number two, or question number two. Are you ready? I just want to do this and they call my boobies because that's what she's doing. It's the Empress. It's a yes. Go for it. Comes down to the number three. This is like new and exciting things. You're birthing something new. You could be birthing a baby. Who knows? But you're birthing something new and exciting. See the little embryos on the side? The little babies? And she's got the sunflowers on her boobies. She is like all that and a bag of chips because that's what the hell you are, our sign. You are all that and a bag of chips. You are everything. And you deserve a new beginning. You deserve to be creative. And you deserve that. And I said the sacral. And she always makes me think of the sacral. And as I look more, there's a lot of details on this. There's some scissors on one side. You're going to be cutting some stuff off that's keeping you from being creative. And there's a birdcage that's open. And I feel like you're, you're just ready to be free. You're ready to be free. You're ready to be who you are. And that, my friend, is a beautiful energy. All right. Let's jump into these reads, big baby. And I... <laughs> I always do this. I lied. I've had too much pre-workout trying to stay awake. Um, let's see. I woke up at like 5 a.m. to work out, and then I've been doing card readings all, all day. Okay, all day. Let's cut this beautiful deck for my beautiful slide. Double 10. There's some decisions with work coming in. If it's too much to carry, let Pazuzu carry it for you. This is the winged demon who protects the babies, okay? They used to bury him. They used to wear his amulet. He's got the penis of a snake. I'm just saying very potent, very powerful energy here. And he flies and he protects. And so this is like, you know, it might look like a, a really bad situation at work, but it'll be okay if you just give it to the gods, okay? Take that vacation. Take that sick time. Take a chance. <laughs> Take a chance and do that. All right. Oh, I have one more Capricorn I can remember. Marlo. Hey, hey, hey. Shout out to Marlo. Okay, I want to give him good shuffles. They're not giving good shuffles, man. Give some good shuffles here. Let's see. Uh, what house are we working with? I didn't even check your houses. Where my dice go? Let's see. What house are we focused on? The sixth house. That is ruled by Virgo. Six houses ruled by Virgo. You are dealing with your day-to-day -day activities, pets, things of that nature. We're working with that right now, okay? So pay attention to your sixth to the sixth house, okay? All right, let's see. Are we ready? We are ready with the number four. Some of y'all are dealing with the fourth house, things in the home. Some of y'all want to move. Somebody wants to um, move out. I'm sorry, that just came like really quick. Like I heard, move out. We ready to move? Okay. Let's do this. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, Virgo. Okay, Virgo. <laughs> What's going on, friend? All right. The Eight of Cups reversed. There's something we want to redo, and we're going to reuse, we're going to recycle this uh, Mercury energy to the best of our ability. Let's see what's going on at the bottom of the deck here. Ow, ow. So we have an offer coming in, okay? This offer that's coming in is the Prince of Cups. It could be a work offer, like they really want to establish a foundation with you. Now, there is an energy of like my way or the highway coming through. I'm not a big fan of the Emperor Reverse. It's a very conniving energy, which makes you feel a little defeated with the Five of Cups. So you're moving on. You're moving on, okay? And there's something with finances. Finances are very stressful for you. But your guides want you to know it's a victory. Like things are going to work out. You're going to be fine. It's going to be okie dokie. All right. Possibly by the full moon. So things are going to fall into place around the 15th. Okay. I feel like I missed a card for y'all. Oh, it's because there was no number on the Akashic. I was like, what, what's going on here? Like, I don't understand. So as the moon is coming into the full, you know, balance of the on the 15th, I think it's going to be important for you to use the momentum from the end of April 
in the first two weeks of May when there's like really good magic, I hope you watch the beginning, to teach you like where you want to be and how you want to move forward because there's a lot of good energies out there to take advantage of. Alrighty then. Now, let's jump into the reads. Hello, Cappies! What's up, Capricorn? This dress is driving me insane because like I, I'm like one of these like people that has to have things even and then it's like moving because it's like, eh, whatever. You know, so sorry if you see me like touching it all the time. How you guys doing? What's up? How you doing, Capricorn? Would you neglect your emotions? Shocking. <laughs> Why do you keep doing that? So let me tell you a little story, okay? Because you know, let's start your time. Eight of Cups, yo, like, come on. Womp, 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 womp. Look, Gilgamesh, I went all around the world. Nah, yeah, yeah. He can't find his baby, the plant. Then he got right there in front of the baby, in front of the plant, and said, oh. I'm going to go for a swim. And then the snake, which represents your enemy, comes and says, Kaka! it takes what you want. Do not neglect your emotions and let someone take what you want. That's the story time for today. Okay? <laughs> so, Cappy, let's see. What we got here? I had two cards come out. It, you're overthinking things. I'm going to use both of them. You're overthinking things you're, 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 and you need to rest. It's like you, you really want something to come through. Let me write that down. Cappy 444. Okay. Cap 444. I didn't do Aquarius. His numbers were 333444. Okay. Sorry. If I, if I forget, I, I'm an old lady, guys. I will forget. So I feel like with this thinker and the nap, taking a nap. So I feel like you need to step back there there yeah, you need to take a step back for a minute and reassess the situation and kind of ask yourself you know what am i neglecting what am i neglecting what am i not putting? god ah! okay stop neglecting your feelings friend you want to just like okay this is capricorn's energy that i'm picking up i'm gonna say everything is okay when it's not okay and i'm just gonna smile no capricorn because then you're gonna be tussling in the corner and slanging bricks and rocks and punching tires out no sir or no ma'am okay look the eight of cups with the eight of cups you're walking away from something in the full moon so you need to really create a plan you need to really relax and 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 see pay attention to the number 444 and 888 okay let's write that down too because then when i be writing descriptions i'll be forgetting okay oh let's see Let's get into your read. Let's do a pick a card. You have the carob of arrows coming in, okay? There is a family situation for Capricorn. There's something going on in the family. You really want to nurture it. You're trying to do the best that you can. And I feel like you're overwhelming yourself, Capricorn, because you want to do everything perfect. Because you are just so cute like that. You're so cute, Capricorn. Oh, here you are, the mountain goat. Like, I couldn't, I can, I'm not making this up, right? So the mountain goat's saying there's something out of balance, which goes back to this card, right? We're getting into balance. That's what these eclipses are. They're kind of showing us what needs to be into balance, right? So something's out of balance in your life. You're either focusing too much on one thing and not enough on yourself or vice versa. And you need to do whatever needs to be done to correct it. And since it is the care of, of, um, of arrows, it's about communication for you. It's about communicating your wants, your needs, and your desires and saying, I'm not doing this anymore, okay? All right, let's see what's going on here. Are we ready? Pick your energy. What does the carob really want you to focus on? What is the energy that the mountain goat is telling you to focus on? Card one or card two? If you make card one, it's the moon goddess. This is about paying attention to your 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 intuition, your um your energy, your mood. What makes you happy? What makes you happy? And pay attention to the seventh, okay, and the twenty fifth. What what makes you happy, and why are you not doing that? Why are you punishing yourself? Why do you um, take on the problems of others when um, you have problems yourself? Why, Capricorn, do you have a tendency to have this I can do anything energy, I can do it for you, I can do it for you, and then you get upset because nobody's doing it for you. So you're waiting for this to come through, and there's something about September 25th also, I want you to remember that. Um, something's going to come to illumination for you around that time. All right? I got a little sad there. Card number two, 
You got, you got door number two. I feel like the price is right. There you go, the door to value. You are out of balance with the way that you put your values on things. Money is very important. You're a very lucrative person. You have a lot of skills and talents and your guides are saying, you know what? Take the money and go. Take that raise, take that new opportunity. Pay attention to the fourth and the 13th, okay? Gonna be important days for you as you move forward, Cappy. All right, overall, what do they need to know with that energy? Free your mind and the rest will follow. Take off the blinders, okay? That it only has to be this way and only this way. It can't be that way. No, 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 it has to be this. Take them off. Untie yourself. Free yourself. Those swords aren't even inside of you. Those are anguish. Those are memories. Those are things that we want. Like, I was walking home with my daughter. I'm going to tell you a story. It was a great conversations with Dr. Love. I'm walking home with my daughter, right? And she had gotten in trouble for cursing out her friend. Because <laughs> they were, she said they were cheater friends. Anyways, and she said the F word and some other words. I don't know where she got that from. Anyways. I was like, so did you curse anyone out at school today? You know, like what else, you know? She was like, you know what, mom? No, I had a great day. So let's let's push that away. Like, and everything that I mentioned, she didn't want to talk about. She's like, just push that away. Let's put it over there. Push it. Push it. And she's like walking. You see this little girl just walking and pushing things away. All those stories you've been telling yourself, all those belief systems that you have to do everything perfect and be the one who does everything for everyone is a lie. Push it away. Give it space. Let others help. You don't have to do everything by yourself. You are valuable. You are wonderful. And I, and I feel like you're ready for this cycle to be over. 820 is going to be important for you too. Eight, I'm sorry, 821 is going to be important. Again, my birthday. Hey, I think I was just preparing everyone for my birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday. Buy me a present. Take me to dinner. I don't know. Whatever. Let's go to the music part. You know, just to have a good time. Anyways, the universe is coming out in your second position because there's a cycle that's going to be completed. Like, there's a big cycle. These eclipses are going to be huge for you for some reason, Capricorn. I feel like it's revelation time, okay? And the universe, I always tell this story because here's Anu, the sky god, and here's Ki, Aruru, the empress, right? And uh, Anu and Ki were in love they're in the womb of Namu, the water goddess, right? It's so they're in love. They love each other. They have a child named Alil. Alil spits, spits, splits them up, and the world is created through that and the chaos dragon of Tammuz. Not, is it Tammuz? Tiamat, Tiamat. And the waters are opened, but Anu has to stay in heaven, and Aruru comes to earth. And so even though we're at the end of a cycle, you feel split apart. You're torn up. I'm getting emotional. There's a huge decision you have to make this month. Do not neglect your emotions or feelings as you go through this. You have given so much to the situation. You have given, I'm going to cry. You have given and given and given and given to the point you can't give anymore. Like, you can't give it anymore. Like, it's over. It's just like, you're so torn up. Like, I'm getting really emotional. Like, this is hard for you. This is like, it's not your fault at all. Like, it's just not your fault. It's just like, you know, it's just the way the world is. And you're going to have to work with your, your sacral. You're going to be healing with that creative energy with lots of love. It is a pain that is going to hurt. Um... It's the Three of Swords, you know? Like, I can't... I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. Like, it's the Three of Swords. It's painful. Also, watch your back. Like, don't pick up heavy stuff. Okay? So, let's see. What does this Three of Swords... What does the universe want us to know? What is coming to a completion? I tell you, something's over. The grave. If it's 21, I'm going to shoot myself. No, I'm not going to say that. I shouldn't say that. Sorry. Financial with a man and a lady. So there's a financial situation between a family member or a couple, okay? That is just coming to an end and it's like a bitter end. And for some, it's, it, this could be a divorce. For others, it could be like, we're going out of business with each other. We had a falling out, something like that. And I'm so sorry about for what I said earlier. I sincerely apologize. I should not have said something so um, inconsiderate i'm so sorry i meant to say shoot myself in the foot and i said the other word and I'm, i apologize um so the fish that's coming out here the grave the fish and the gentleman right the grave is an ending the fish is like finances 
with this man, okay? And the woman is choosing. She's choosing something different. She's going a different way. So whatever you want to place yourself as the man or the woman, there's an ending to something, okay? Which leaves you as the hermit, which makes you feel this is Virgo energy. It makes you like you're looking at the details. You're trying to make sure things are right, right? You're trying to sit there and you're like, something's not right. It's not adding up. And remember, Anu is in heaven, okay? You know you got to cut something out, Capricorn. And you've been twiddling your thumbs, taking your time, even lying about it, okay? Maybe even like a little bit of different energy here. Like, no, that's not true. That's not going to happen. My finances are great or this isn't going to happen. Because two nights is significant to me of someone telling a story. There could be a story of also somebody telling you they just want to be your friend, but they don't. Aquarius got this also. But they don't want to be your friend. They want to be your lover. Or they're telling you, I want to marry you. And they don't. They don't want to marry you. And they're, or they're, they're married with you. And you're going to cut them off. You're going to cut this situation off. You choose the sword that you want. You're going to choose your path. But don't neglect your emotions along the way this month. This eclipse energy is helping you see things in a clear light. Like you're just done. You are completely done with the situation. Let's see what this queen has for us, okay? Because she's not accepting any of these offers anymore. She's not accepting the knight's offers. Some of y'all might have something with your kids coming up, okay? Okay. There's anxiety, there's anxiety, there's the mice, and then here's the snake energy, that's like a little backstabber energy, you're not going to, you're not going to have that, then I said the child with your new beginning or with a child, okay, and it deals with the foundation or the house, okay, like you feel like you've been betrayed, like you're just like, wait a minute, July 13th is going to be important for you too, um, you're just like done, you're done. You're done. You're finished. And I'm getting nervous. Sorry, I'm getting real nervous. Because this is like a very intense read. I didn't expect it to be this way. You're cutting something off. You're making a major decision. And it's going to affect your finances also. And so be very mindful of that. And take lots of rest. Drink lots of water. That Eight of Cups is telling me around that eclipse on the 15th. Deep breaths. Deep, deep breaths during that time. You're going to need it as you make a very tough decision. Okay? So let's see. Random messages from my beautiful Capricorns. Okay, the catcher, the catch it. Seek hidden treasures, find the good things, find the silver lining, love yourself, okay? Trust the divine plan and face your adversaries. I feel like someone made a financial promise to you and they're just not keeping it. Or someone made an agreement with you and they're just not keeping it, which is making you really stressed out. And I do believe for some, there is like a betrayal Okay, there is a betrayal. There is something going on. It's not right. Okay, it's just not right. So just be aware of that energy as you're moving forward. Okay. Wow, Capricorn, that's intense. But the key here is that it's over. You know, and even though some things are over, like even though you know it's like the best thing for you, sometimes it hurts the most. I had to end something pretty recently, and it was like one of the hardest things I've ever done. To be honest, it was like... um but the most freeing thing at the same time. So I'm not one of those people that says, oh, you know, it's not going to hurt. It's going to be all right. No, it hurts. You know, like I still hurt about it. But sometimes you got to do what's best for you no matter what. And I think that's what the point is. And that's what Gilgamesh is telling you. You have done all this to get you to your plant. You've done all this to get up to that mountain on the Eight of Cups. And now you're there and you're not happy. And that's okay. That is completely okay. So, let's see, your finances, save your money. <laughs> let's see here, the sun, it's going to be okay, all right, it's going to be okay. There is something with your children, maybe there's a trip with your children, there's money with your children, something with your kids coming up with money. If, if it's not your kids, it's a new beginning, okay? And you have to be like the high priestess, you have to plan ahead. This is like you saying, oh, let me go ahead and put something in the savings, let me go ahead and put this in the 401k, or let me take out my 401k because my kids are getting married, or we have a school trip, or something like that. But there is something about that, and things are going to get either easier because it's a six of wands. There's a trip. Okay, Six of Swords here is really wands, and the children here with the Six of Cups. So I do feel like there's a trip, and there's something that you need to save for, okay, Capricorn? Let's get to your love life, love bug. Let's see. Gotta find the cards. Okay, love bugs. Let's see. Oh, oh. Some of y'all need a message from a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. The answer is... Because this card was not supposed to be in there. 
When it comes to your love life, it's going to be important for you to be open and receptive. There's also something about getting your feet wet again. Okay, throwing yourself back into it, being your authentic and true self, because she has the blue hair like Carol G, la mera mera la bichota, okay? But she has her cup and she's ready to receive, and she's by the ocean, so she's clearing her energy, okay? So let's look at your love life, what's going on in the love life? A lot of eights for you, money must be coming in. Okay, Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, and we ready to get it hot and heated. Get it hot and heated. We're learning new skills. And again, here's the kids, okay? We want things to grow. I think, you know, if you don't have kids, this is like you really wanting a relationship to grow. Like you're nurturing this. You want it to grow. You want it to get there. You want to invest in something that's going to bring you the best, right? What I say, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Hey, hey, Ziddy, how you doing? And this person is ready to give you love. Ooh, Capricorn, picture me rolling with the with the wheel, and you pulled yourself here. So I'm gonna say with that Devil card, do not let your old ways of like how you look at love and how you believe in love come into play. This is like a divine connection. She wasn't supposed to be in there. What was that? You're not supposed to be here. What? But I'm glad you are. I've been waiting for you by the water. Hey, I got a whole story for you. <laughs> Make me tell you the heron story. I'm going to write a book. <laughs> like, I literally go stalk my heron and duck like every day. So the Knight of Wands is you being really fresh and free with love. Like being really fresh and free. Hangman, Pisces energy. You want to just have a good time. This is like, you're ready to put it out there. Okay, make sure it's legal, okay? The Eight of Pentacles, learning new things with the Eight of Wands. So in putting, you're investing, you're learning new things, but now you're putting it into action. You're putting something into action. What is the Six of Cups about? The sun. So I kind of feel like here, like maybe you met somebody or maybe you're going to meet someone probably in the summertime because this gives me cancer vibes here, like cancer season, and the sun is there, and this is like, look, let it grow okay let it grow let it develop let it turn into something beautiful enjoy the moments it doesn't have to be a full-fledged relationship on the first date it can grow guys so what is this king of cups about king of cups ah, wants to get married and or divorced <laughs> he wants that higher love okay he's ziddy he's a little look i sexy okay i see you there i see you hierophant which leads you to the wheel to the knave of wands which is the uh, knight of wands again okay so with that energy this is going to come in very very quickly it moves you to the next level the devil wants you to know the wheel so you got the double wheel it's coming i feel like the momentum is growing things are developing this person who's coming into your life comes in very passionate, but they have like an old school way of them, okay? Like they're really into old schoolness. They love the idea of passion and love and vulnerability, and it's going to be something that you're different to. Um, I feel like this person is like night and day to you, but they bring out the receptive form that's needed in order to find the relationship. Let's get some clues on this man or this energy, the King of Cups. What does this King of Cups wants us to know? Okay. He likes to go out to eat. You're probably at a distance from this person, okay? Because it's an Uber. Um, I would say be careful. He loves tattoos. It says L gluten. He might have a gluten sensitivity. And he's really into like hair, like coloring hair and like different, and makeup, okay? Or that's you. He likes you because of that. Maybe getting an online notification from him. So there's going to be compliments about your hair, about your makeup. This person has tattoos. I would say maybe they have like dietary issues, okay? And they will probably have to travel to you or they're always wanting to pick up, pick you up or always drive you. There's something about the Uber. Um, not that it's an Uber, basically. But look out in the summertime because it's coming, my love. It is coming. And if this is something you're currently going through right now, I'm going to say whatever activities or whatever you're learning about love as you're going along, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to open up your heart. It's going to be beautiful. All right, Capricorn. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful month. Uh, if you're looking for a reading, hit me up on my link tree or go follow me on Instagram and go get some of those specials I got going on over there. We just did a new eclipse uh, reading for 1111 DM style real quick, 24 hours. It was really, really cool. And I go on there randomly live. So go follow at Ariana Luciano and have a beautiful, beautiful month.